Transfigured on the Mount, O Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. My brothers and sisters, on this fourth fourth Sunday of Lent, the church offers us this amazing story of a miracle <clears throat> but it's not just the miracle that is so amazing this story is about faith we just heard it but just to remind you in case maybe it slipped your mind the man's son who has a demon there's nobody who can help him he even went to the disciples and they couldn't help him So he goes to Christ and he says, please, if you can do something, have mercy on me. Have some compassion on me. And the Lord says, if you can, if you believe, he says, all things are possible to him who believes. And this is the greatest part of this morning's gospel, my brothers and sisters, when the Father opens up his heart to Christ and he says, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief, is how we hear it in English. The modern Greek says, help me because my belief is weak. Many of us, I would dare say all of us at one time or another, are faced with the reality that we don't know if we have enough faith to get through the day. It might be at the hospital. It might be with our children. It might be with our parents. It might be at work. All of us at one time or another, we have to acknowledge, do we have what it takes? And we say to ourselves, I don't think I can get through this one. And we fall on our knees in front of God. We beg for God's strength. Because God promises us everything is possible for those who believe. And here we are wondering, do we believe enough? It's not a sin to doubt your own strength. It is not a sin to wonder if you believe in God enough to make something happen in your life. What is important, my brothers and sisters, is that you believe that God can make filled, can fill the faith that you have, can strengthen the belief in your heart and can complete in us what is lacking. That's all the faith we need. You see, this father had faith. He had enough to know that he had to go to Christ. He had enough faith to know that he needed God's help. How many times do we rationalize in our own minds, I can do it, just leave me be. I know all the right answers. I can do it. Don't worry. God, I'll keep you for something later. And we fall flat on our face. That's the joy of faith. And that loving relationship that God even allows us to fall flat on our face. You see, God's not going to insert himself into our life. He is there. He was there waiting for this man. He knew the son was suffering. But he waited for the father to come. And he's waiting for us. 
He's waiting for us not to just come and sit in church, but to come with our hearts open to God and to ask Him to strengthen our faith so that we can endure what is coming in our life. Whether it is a hospital problem, whether it is a family problem or a work problem, all sorts of things go around us every day. The only way we'll be able to endure those struggles is with God's help because we cannot do it on our own. So where does it leave us? Okay, so God is going to fulfill our faith. He's going to strengthen our faith. But there's still something that we have to accomplish in order to cooperate to work with God. We are co-workers with God. And the apostles were confused why they couldn't heal this man. And so they turned to Jesus Christ privately because they were embarrassed, we presume. Why couldn't we heal this man? And Christ says, this demon, this particular demon can only go out through prayer and fasting. You see, my brothers and sisters, we have work to do in order to work with God for God to strengthen our faith. We can't just sit there on the chair. Okay, God, I've done my part. Now it's your turn. Go. I'll wait. I don't hear you, God. But let's face it, that's what we do. We think that coming to God means washing our hands of the problem and letting God take over. As if God is playing chess with us. And he says very clearly, this one can only go out through prayer and fasting. That's our participation in God's work to pray fervently on our knees in front of God, to fast, to offer himself, ourselves to Him. That's how we cooperate with God in the struggles of our life. Not just sitting back and watching God do something. That's not the message of the gospel. I don't want you to go home and think that just because we believe in Jesus Christ, there's n everything is possible for us. What is possible for us by God's grace when we cooperate with Him, when we pray fervently, when we fast, we can overcome these struggles in our life. And our strength is in our faith. And our faith is in God. And it is God who gives us that extra boost so we can endure and defeat the demons in our life. Because there are demons. There are evil powers working against us. Don't be fooled by the world that says there's no evil demons. There are. And God is there to help us. But we have to go to Him. And we have to confess our weaknesses to Him. So He can strengthen us and give us what we lack. So as we continue on our great Lenten journey... Be strengthened knowing that God is waiting for you. Go to Him in your prayers. Come to Him this morning in the liturgy and open your heart. I believe, Lord, help me because my belief is weak. And in that moment, He will give us what we need because He loves us, because He wants to save us. Glory to God for all things.
Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.